Citizens, it's that time you're officially in the Alert Zone. Welcome to the Alert Zone TV. I'm the Wizard Uncle James. I would love for you to become an active citizen of the Alert Zone, and you guys and girls already know how to do that. So, I'm sitting here, got my home defense with me, my Smith & Wesson SD40 BE, chambered in 40 caliber, clear for YouTube. You know all the YouTube safety stuff. I ain't even going to fire it. I just leave it open. Excuse me. I wanted to just talk to everybody out there that see this video about the importance of independent Second Amendment media. Let me tell you what I mean by that. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Rumble, Bumble, whatever else. All these independent platforms that's giving people that really love the Second Amendment a voice to speak. And to speak what's actually going on out here. Not our truth. The truth. I want everybody to get out of that our truth or my truth. Let me tell my truth. You can tell your story, but not your truth. The truth is the truth. The truth is what we tell on platforms like this. Um, Autumn's Armory. The Honest Outlaw. Uh, Hickok 45. Eyes and Ears Tactical. Regular Gun Guy. Fat Guy with Guns. Uh, T Electric, uh, Trey 57 Productions, and the GHG, the thousands of others that's out here. Everybody telling the truth, not our truth, the truth. For the younger people who just getting into firearms, and I'm talking like the 15 to 25 year old crowd, a lot of y'all don't know life before the internet. I do. If I live to see the end of August, I'll be 45 years old. I remember life before the internet and how firearms and the Second Amendment was so demonized. Um, we as black Americans were overly demonized. Uh, there was no such thing as us ever having a legal firearm. Uh, it's changed just a little bit now, but still. We still live in the stereotype of if we have a firearm, it's got to be illegal because that's what was promoted to the world. To people from the mainstream media that ever run across this clip, they never know. You guys are the reason places like this exist. You guys are the reason that a lot of people migrated to the Internet and started taking up media because y'all put these false narratives out there about us. I understand y'all got paid to do it. But y'all put a lot of false narratives that cost a lot of people their freedom and their lives. Period. Point blank. A lot of people in prison behind these this negative negativity, and it got a lot of people killed. This foolishness. Philando Castillo got killed because of the stereotype of black people and firearms being synonymous with criminal activity. We've never been shown in the light of having firearms to be hunters, to be sports shooters, or to protect ourselves. We've always been shown as gangsters with firearms. Nothing else. Criminals at that. So, um, I just think it is important, whether it's this platform or any other platform, the mainstream media is why we exist. Had they just gave the truth and not been pushing an agenda, I don't even think people like myself and other people would have even decided to get online and do this. But because they told lies, they didn't even tell half truths. They told flat out lies about firearms in this country. They demonized just about everybody that wanted to carry a firearm. When it came to white folks, they always wanted to show the extremists of firearms. But they never talked about even females, even women. And firearms before the internet wasn't synonymous with them protecting themselves. The only time women were seen as having, be in the same realm of having firearms is if they was a part of some extremist group. So there was never no such thing put out there as just a woman that gets up and goes to work every day. That's a teacher or secretary or whatever she is that carries a firearm to protect herself. That narrative was never put out there. So... I just want to say this in closing. Find you somebody 
on YouTube or any other platform outside of mainstream media until they get their act together and follow them and support them. We can't do this without the support of the people. It's one thing to sub to channels. It's another thing to participate. When you participate, that gets the message out there. You know, I understand, you know, sometimes all channels may say a lot of things you don't agree with. Well, you're never going to agree with us 100%. I understand that. I understand encounters with law enforcement is the problem that a lot of people have with this channel. Some of the times, some of the things I did with the Never Again series, people may not like it. And I understand that. But I'm not going to change the message because it's getting out there. Hear the message before you disagree with it. Listen to the message and take away from the message the positivity. Don't hear the message and because you don't agree with it, you don't pay attention. So, with that being said, ladies, gentlemen, practice your Second Amendment rights. Don't let nobody shame you. Don't let nobody tell you you're a coward for going and get a firearm. Because you know what? These criminals are out here watching. And they love unarmed citizens. That makes it just that much easier for them. Even the foreigners that have come in here illegally. They're not going in the hood committing their crimes. They've decided they're going to go right on into those gated communities. And guess what? Unlike the domestic criminals, they got syndicates they work for. They work with people back from their home country. It is organized beyond anything the mafia could have ever thought of. We love independent Second Amendment media here at the Alert Zone. You should love it and support it too. Hit me in the comment section and let me know what you think. Until next time, stay safe, stay armed. Got my 40 caliber with me. Stay on high, high alert.